Hi, it's Phil G again, a little project. This is a servo exerciser. Um, if you've got a servo that's been in a crash, or um, a new type of servo that you've never used before, you just want to get a bit of confidence in it, what I've been using up to now is um, a little homebrew uh, servo tester. It's quite a complex thing. It measures pulses from the receiver, generates pulses to servos, and um, I don't know if you can see the menu there, Pulsestar it's called, it was in ET, um, Everyday Practical Electronics a while ago. Uh, read or generate, so we want to generate pulses. 1.5 milliseconds pulse up and down on the buttons there, so if I go up towards 2 milliseconds, down towards 1 millisecond, back up to 1.5 at neutral, if I press both it sweeps the servo from side to side. Now this is what I've been using to bed a servo in. I'll just leave it like that for about an hour. But it's far too complicated a, a box just for that job. Uh, we can simplify it a lot and it means that just about anybody could uh, knock one together quite easily. So what I'm going to try and do is actually build one live. So it's based on a little pick chip. This is going to be a bit uh, fraught. First thing we do with the 8 pin pick is that we break off 5 of the legs. So that's pin 2 gone, pin 3 gone, it's going to be a bit rushed this, pin 4, pin 5 we leave, 6 we break off, and 7 we break off, so that leaves 1, 8 and 5. And what we've done there, by reducing it to a 3 pin pick, we've got the connections that we're going to make, only 3 connections, in the very far corners of the pick, so they're as far away as they can be, uh, which makes soldering a bit easier. So the first thing we do is we tin it. The secret of this is to tin everything because then you can just blob things together really easily. Now, I've never made one of these live, so... Right, next thing we need is a servo, an ordinary servo extension lead, like this. Uh, chopped it in half, so we need to... There's the cutters, here we go, we need to just split these out. Now this is the... that's the battery one, so we don't need the white on this. So just cut the white back a little bit. the about quarter inch of the red quarter inch of the black same on this one this this time we do need the white so quarter inch of the red quarter inch of the black and just the very tip of the of the white there so we take the two halves of the extension lead that we just chopped in half and we join it back up again just twist the two blacks together and tin it and cut that short twist the two reds together in those, all a bit rushed this isn't it, but uh, just to give the uh, idea, uh, where'd the solder go, there it is, just tin the white, that's the signal lead, right so the next thing we need is a little cluster, which is, which is where here we go. Again we tin the leads. This is a, a point 0.1 just for a bit of suppression, that's all. Bend the leads slightly splayed and at 90 degrees. Fit that across the top of the pick. Across pins 1 and pins 8. Pin eight. 
And because we've tinned it, we can just dab these and they just solder nicely. There we go. There was a church. Chop those off. So we've got a nice decoupled pick now. Right, so now we take the pos and the neck. Pos goes to pin one, which is pin one is that one. Pin one is nearest me. There we go, that's better. Cooking with gas. Pin eight is the negative. And that one's gone straight on while this in. And then the white goes to pin five. Just need to double that back a bit. I left it a little bit too long. Alright, there we go. So let's just double check. We've got pause to pin one, next to pin eight. The Output socket to pin fire, that's right. So need a little bit of uh, heat shrink now. Uh, here we go. About an inch or so. Just uh, open that up a bit. Pop it over there. Open it up a bit more. Camera doesn't run out of memory. There we go. So that's nicely encapsulated. Now this heat gun has been playing up, it won't light. So no, it's not going to do it. So I'll have to shrink it with the iron. Heat gun's a lot better, but uh, just lately it's stopped lighting for some reason. Finish that off later, but you get the gist. So you've got a little module there, and the way it works, you just plug a, a servo in, plug an ordinary battery in, right. so this is the sequence. The whole sequence is left, right, left, right, sweep, repeated four times, then a couple of these very slow sweeps, then the whole thing repeats for exactly an hour, and then after an hour it just shuts down. Um, obviously it can't cut the servo power, but it's not pulsing the servo, so the consumption will be minimal, and um, hopefully you can just leave it for an hour, and uh, by then you'll have absolute confidence in your servo if it's still going and uh, not making any horrible gearbox noises there you go nice little project very very easy to make just email philg at talk21.com if you want to pick uh, do them at cost again uh, which is the pick is £1.36 uh, postage large letter is 61 pence 2 quid and um, uh, I think the jiffy bags are 35 pence or something so if you call it 250 that will cover the lot and um, that's just about doing it at cost. So there you go, little servo exerciser for you. Catch you later, bye bye.